Alright, so in this video I'm going to be going over how to record gameplay uh, 5M with Shadow Play. Uh, first thing is we're going to have to go uh, and check what graphics card you have. It should be a newer GTX model uh, graphics card, so you're going to type in Run. Here type in XDIAG. Hit OK. Let this run. Go to Display 1. And for example, I have the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060, the three gigabyte model. Well, you probably want to have something about like a 960 or higher for this to be an effective uh, use recording. Anything older, why not have it and or will uh, have a major performance impact. So that's all good. You just want to close. So you want to go into your system tray, uh, right click on the NVIDIA. There's two options. You want to hit GeForce Experience. You have to right click it to get there. Uh, this should be already installed on your computer if you have the right drivers. So you want to go into your settings, general, and make sure in-game overlay is enabled. And it looks like this. So for me, it's enabled. So if I click on it, I get this little uh, pop-up. I want to make sure this is turned off so that you can edit the settings. Go into your settings and you want to make sure that your recordings is going to the right place. So there are temporary files. It's basically how the program works is it's kind of always recording video, um, but it's also dumping it as the three. So you record three minutes, three and a half minutes. And if you don't save that, it just deletes it by itself. But as soon as you hit uh, the record button, it'll record to three and a half minutes in the past. But it's kind of always recording, but it will it won't. You won't have to sift through hours of video. It'll just record three and a half minutes into the past. So temporary files and your game recordings, you want them to be separate. So I have mine on my bigger hard drive here. So my hard drive, game recordings, and then I have temporary files. So this is where all the temporary files go. And then I also have the desktop. So this is where 5M is going to go. If we go back into here into the settings uh, you want to make sure that you scroll down all the way down to privacy control and you make sure this is enabled you want desktop capture enabled so that 5m will record then you want to go into your video capture this is all optional um, you could do 20 minutes five minutes whatever I like three and a half at the highest settings but this is all up to you uh, audio, you want to make sure you have your uh, the right microphone selected and maybe you turn down your game, now whatever you'd want. And then with the create single track and separate both tracks, single track will lump your uh, game sound, computer sound, and microphone into one track. And with uh, the, you separate both tracks, it'll separate the game and your microphone. So say your voice isn't loud enough, you can turn it up. And if your game's too loud, you can turn it down and it won't affect each other. So that's all in the post. Then uh, if you want to change your key bindings, you can go ahead. I believe Alt F10 is the default and that's what I prefer. So if all that looks good, you want to go back. You want to make sure that your microphone is selected to always on. By default, I believe it's push to talk, but you want always on. And then from there, you just hit turn on. And it should be recording. Now with 5M, by default, 5M will disable shadow play. Um, there was previous issue with it and it, it's been resolved, but it still by default disables it. So you want to right click on your 5M, right click on it again, go properties, and open file location. And you want to go to the little snail 5M application data. You want to find your citizensfx.ini, open that, and go one line below. Here, go enter. You want to type in disable NVIDIA shadow play equals zero. And then just hit save. Then, if we launch 5M, Alright, so now that we're in the game, you can run around, do whatever you want. Um, if you get into like an admin situation and you need video evidence, all you have to do is hit Alt F10 when something happens. And it's going to record um, the last uh, however long, as long as it's been enabled. So if it's off, um, if it's disabled and you turn it on, 
it'll start from there so you have to make sure you always have it enabled which it should be by default but just in case and that is it now close your game go into your videos where you have it saved desktop here it is and there you go you record so right, here's the video. Way, you can run around in situation you need video evidence. All you have to do. And that's it. If you have any questions, go ahead, leave a comment, and I will try to get back to you.